Today we're joined by Kev Hewitt and we're going to show you the new range of ESP Mega Method feeders and ready tied rigs that Kev's helped us to develop. Now there's a whole variety of feeders in the range, there's two different body sizes, four different weights and they have matching moulds to mould the bait into and on top of that we've also got the ready tied rigs tied exactly how Kev uses them. Now the flat method feeder has been dominating commercial carp matches for many years but it's only recently been adopted uh, by carp hangers fishing for bigger carp on some of the um, well-known runs waters and I know Kev from your sort of match fishing background you've done very well using the flat method and now you've taken it on to catching big carp. So tell us a little bit about why you sort of adopted it and when you use it. Yeah, well, basically, a number of years ago, I decided to get into match fishing a bit into the winter just to pass the time and go out for short days and get a few bites. Mm -hmm. And it became apparent that a lot of people were using this flatbed method feeder system. Um, I adopted it in the matches, done very well. I refined it to my own way. And I was catching that many fish, it sort of clicked in my mind why don't I use this in carp fishing yeah. so over the next few seasons I started playing around with the method feeder quite a bit I, I started adding extra lead to them making them slightly bigger etc why, why were you doing that it's purely for long range or? yeah a to get a little bit more bait out there and b the extra lead to get the longer range longer distances and yeah. some of the bigger waters and I had some fantastic success with it I caught a lot of fish and I actually managed to catch one that was over 30 pound on it but I caught a lot of 20s and a lot of doubles. I even used it to good effect in some of the carp matches. Hmm. Um, they helped me win a couple of matches um, and I found that it was a very effective tactic. So why, I mean obviously you're well known for using PVA bags a lot of the time, why would you use a method feeder? Because it's a similar sort of end result, isn't it? With a little package of bait yeah. on the bottom. Why would you use this instead of a bag? Uh, a method feeder is so much more quicker than tying up PVA bags. Yeah. Literally a method feeder, you can plonk it in the mould, a bit of bait round it, and you can be casting it out within seconds of winding it in. Whereas a PVA bag can take a little, it takes mm. 30 seconds to a minute to tie up. And when you're on a runs type water, you want to be getting the rod out as quickly yeah. as possible. So the method feeder, there is nothing quicker for delivering a small package of bait really accurately to the spot. Mm. And with that mould, you know you're putting it on exactly the same amount of bait every time, aren't you? So you're going to hit the same distance every time and so on. Yeah, basically it's really consistent in that because you've got the mould, you put the same amount of ground bait around it every time. And it's really aerodynamic, so mm. your casting accuracy is absolutely perfect every time. Yeah. There's nothing, nothing that changes in it. The weight doesn't change, the aerodynamics doesn't change. So for accuracy, there's nothing better. Yeah, very efficient system. So let's have a little look at the actual range of feeders that we've got. There are two body sizes available in the range, a large and an extra large. We're going to have a look at the large one first, which fits the green mould. This one is absolutely ideal for fishing smaller commercials and is available in two different weights, a two ounce and a three ounce. It's also absolutely perfect for short chucks up tight to the island and it's got little knobbly bits on the bottom which also helps it grip the marginal shelves on the island. We're next going to have a look at the extra large version, which fits the orange method mould. These are available in two and a half ounces and three and a half ounces. And once fully loaded with ground bait, they're perfectly aerodynamic for long range casting on bigger venues. It's actually worth mentioning that on the extra large body, it accommodates an ounce and a quarter of ground bait. So you can be casting, getting on for five ounces. So it's worth bearing that in mind with which rods you're going to use. You really want to be using powerful cart rods of at least three pound test curve. Right then Kev, let's have a look at the ready tied mega method rigs that, you, that are designed to complement these feeders and the hook baits that you generally use. These rigs are exactly the same as what I use for my method and PVA bag fishing. They comprise of a short four inch camo sink link hook length to my favorite curve shank hook. Sink link is a supple sinking braid, which is important when using the method feeder because you always want your hook bait to stay within the method feeder and the method mix. If you were to use a stiffer coated braid, then it's always going to be pushing the hook bait away from the mix and you always want the hook bait to stay in the method feeder and in the mix so that when a fish comes along and feeds on it, it's always sucking in the method mix, which has always got the hook bait in the middle of it. You always want to use a short hook length when method feeder fishing because when the fish come in and suck the hook bait up, you want the hook length to tighten and set the hook straight away against the weight of the feeders. When the fish pick it up, they hook themselves instantly and bolt off and you always get a screaming take. 
So what about the all-important hook bait, Kev? I see you've got a bit of plastic corn on there. Um, is that what you generally prefer to use with the method? Yeah, the single grain of plastic corn is my favourite hook bait, but you can use a small balanced boilie. But the main part of it is that it needs to be balanced so that when it's in the middle of the method mix, a carp comes down, sucks up the whole lot, and the hook bait is balanced so it shoots up into his mouth and is nailed every time. The rigs have a loop at the top end so they can be changed quickly. And another clever little feature on the method feeder themselves is the rubber grommet that houses the clip link that's included or alternatively a size 9 swivel can be used. This rubber grommet also provides a semi-fixed bolt rig effect. The Mega Method rigs are available in sizes 6, 8 and 10, barbed and barbless in packets of 3. And they also come with extender stops, so if you want to use larger baits and extend the length of the hair, the extender stops are included. So that's the rigs and the feeder covered, Kev. Let's have a look at how we use the mould. To start off with, you need a dedicated Method Mix ground bait. And what you need to do is if you have a look closely inside the method mould, there's a little dimple for placing your hook bait. Once you've placed your hook bait inside the dimple, your hook length comes out the hole in the side of the method mould, and then you just need to start filling it up with the ground bait. You can leave a little mound on the top, and then the next little tip is to just tuck your hook length in so that none of it's going to be showing. Your hook length is going to be totally buried inside the ground bait. Then place your method feeder on top, just push it down with your two thumbs, give it a little squeeze, compact the ground bait down, and then with your two thumbs, just prise it apart and lift the tail rubber out with your other finger. And there you have the perfect shaped method feeder, all fully loaded. And one of the key features is that it's got the weight on the bottom. So which, whenever you cast it out, it always lands with the lead side down and the hook bait on top. That's brilliant, Kev. Thanks for showing us that, mate. You can see why this method is so effective. So that's the ESP Mega Method feeders and rigs. Quick and easy to use, accurate to cast, a brilliant carp catching system.